up. And that's why he's facing Mike Siegel. And now this is a huge match. It's the match really of the century. It's the match that everyone in pool around the world have been dying to see. Half the people in the world think Ephraim Reyes is the greatest player who's ever lived. The other half think Mike Siegel is the greatest player that ever lived. Five in the corner. Ephraim Reyes absolutely can do things that I don't think I've ever seen before. That was a great shot. That was unbelievable. He had to play it off that ball. That's they call that a carom shot. Exactly, and and the average person probably wouldn't have done that. Three in the corner, couldn't. And I said, "How's your record?" He goes, "Mike uh, has the the edge. They're pretty close, but Mike has had the edge in heads up matches with Efren. But that was in nine ball and straight pool, not in Five eight ball. ball, and certainly not in the last ten years because Mike really has been pretty much out of the game for the last ten years." But that's why I, I actually liked Mike in this match because he was such a great straight pool player. And straight pool and eight ball are like the chess of pool, where nine ball is, is mostly luck. Just well, luck or shot making, yeah. right? He's over this ball, not easy. Well, it's, it's just barely made that. Almost a foregone conclusion, barring a, a, a miraculous turnaround, that Mike Siegel will be down one set to nil, uh, perhaps in moments. What does he need to do, Lori John, speaking of Mike Siegel, to get back in this thing? He needs to go regroup. I, I think Mike just needs to take a break. He needs to talk a lot, get it all out of his system, and, and pretend you cannot change the past. You cannot change the past. You have to just go ahead. All Mike has to look at is it, it's a race. You know, he has to win the next two sets. Again, it's never been done before. Mike Siegel has never lost two sets to lose at a final table. Seven in the corner. And the crutch will make its first appearance here. Efren Ray is, is very skilled in that particular shot. And look at this. Mike is, is saying that this corner. does not have to go. The game is set. I mean, you just never know. So the first set oh, is going for Reyes. 8-0. Shell shot. Siegel shell shot. Tougher than any condition in a pool room, generally speaking. Two in the corner. Now, Lori John, is Efren going to have any trouble with that cluster of balls in the middle of the table there? Well, no, because he's the magician. <laughs> <laughs> a normal human may have. He's got the four, seven, and eight real close to each other. Right. There goes the four. Ooh. Just, did he want to do that? No, he, just, he didn't. He just did this. He did not want to do that. And now this ball, the eight ball, doesn't really go anywhere. No, that was definitely not something that he wanted to do. So he's going to watch for that. He's going to try to probably knock that out some somehow. As you can see, the seven ball, I don't know if he's going to be able to shoot this seven in this corner pocket. Um, if that goes, he's, he, he has that option or he has this option with this ball in the side pocket. And yeah, it looks like he's corner. chosen the seven ball. He's got to clear that 12 ball too, which he does he nicely. Missed. Not an easy shot here. Almost misses that. <coughs> now he has to make a choice on where he's going to make this eight ball. Does the eight ball go anywhere? No, it doesn't. And that's he's why I'm, I'm trying to figure out which ball he's looking at to possibly hit the 14 or go into the eight ball to just break them up. Three ball in the corner. You know, it seems to look from this match 
as though when you you put Efren Reyes up on one foot, he, can make he, he really time. gets froggy up there and can hurt you, like share atop the piano. He gets, <laughs> he props himself up, and he's real good. That he is. Now, I, I think he wanted the cue ball. There's no question that he wanted the cue ball to come over here instead of where he is. So he could have had angle on the six ball to possibly try and hit these the eight ball. Six in the corner. But that did not happen. He's got to clear that ten ball, the blue stripe ball, which he does. <laughs> these have not been easy shots in this rack for Efren Reyes. If he goes over here too much, he draws into the ten. We got like perfect on him. Five in his side. Okay. So he was he trying was to get trying over to here get, yes. so he could play the eight ball down here. Yes. Yes. And he didn't do it. But now he, did not do it. he can still see it, can he? Does he have any kind of shot ba there? <laughs> Barely. He has to hit this eight ball first. He cannot hit this ball, the 14 ball first. Now, if he doesn't hit the eight ball first with the cue ball, oh, no. then Mike Siegel has ball in hand. Yes. But it is not loss of game. Correct. But Mike but Siegel should be able to run these balls. There's no question. You would think. Eight in the corner. Okay, now, now this is this is a magician. Maybe. He doesn't have it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. The pool gods. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Perry Houdini has taken notice from another world because this magician has quite an act tonight. Unbelievable. Did you see the speed he hit it at? He couldn't have hit it any hard. Watch this. He had to hit it perfect speed because if he hit it harder, it doesn't go in. No. Shot of the day so far. Un I stick him on a rail. I do that. I thought I could stick him on the rail. I do that. I'm going to bank the nine for this pocket. You know, actually, I can make this. Okay, he's going to try to bank the shot. nine ball, and it's I'm just a, gonna shoot at it it's a squeeze. This. You you actually hit it with this, English actually, very hard, and it squeezes behind the two ball. Oh. Wow, you know, it's an unbelievable so shot. Second. Let me look at this. You can you can squeeze it over I'll the tell two. You what, it's I don't want to give up the game. Again, I'm going to bank it for the corner. Our Here, game score here. is tied at five apiece. This is a Taking crucial game. Cross corner. This he, is so hard. It is unbelievable shot, but it, if he makes it, it is it is unbelievable. Ah, look how that reversed, man. <laughs> that would have been a hanger if that if I'd have hit it. Look how that ball reversed. Did you see where that Did went? Did you see that bang? Oh. That's unbelievable where that reversed. I could have overcut that a diamond and made it. And still didn't hit it full enough to get up table. That's, beca look, look. That's wow. because the table is getting wet, correct? Yes. Very it's right. slowing up the humidity in the air, changing I the mean, conditions of how the balls I react off the cushions. Easy if I overcut the two. I'm not easy. Really? Now, Efren's been cold no. here. He's missed three two ball. shots in a row. Yep. Now he's shooting the three ball in the corner, which is... The right shot. Again, a crucial game. We're tied at five games apiece in this elimination second set. Whoever wins this game to take the 6-5 lead not only takes the advantage, but needs to only run two racks to win this one. And it could be Reyes to win two more racks for the championship he's, here. He's unhappy where he got position. I mean, he's the balls are kind of open, but he's well, still got a little bit of a challenge here. Again, he didn't want to be where he was. He wanted to be over here, you know, because the, these balls are over here. So the, the one in the seven ball. And right now where his cue ball is, he's going to have to do Six something ball. just a little bit funny. Let me tell you, guys do not like to slow roll balls like that. Players themselves, I don't like to slow roll a ball like that. And that's what he did not want to why do. Is that's that? why he was because it's just it, you, you can put more English on the cue ball and it's it's a bigger room for error, mm. bigger room to miss than if you just hit the ball in. Contrary like, to what the amateur would think. Oh, exactly. Like the w for instance, Five when ball. he shot when Efren shot that three ball, he hit it in with authority. 
with authority. Son of a bitch, Mr. Two Balls. Siegel has to win this set, otherwise it's over. <laughs> and Ephraim is the new king of the hill and the richest winner in pool <laughs> history. And he's left a pretty friendly diagram here. Yes. You know, of the, of the 42 the players that were at this invitational from all over the world. The last three were from the Philippines. And I asked Mike Siegel last night why the Filipinos are dominating pool. Game to three. They're the Hall of Famers right there. I know. But what I asked Mike why the, I wanted to why the players from the Philippines the are doing so well. And he had said they live in the you know, pool. And I, I, I it was reminiscent of it was reminiscent of VJ Singh as a shots. golfer. Them, you know, after he wins a tournament, what is, where does he go? To right to the practice range, yeah, and he's hitting balls like four or five hours. And, and so you know, Efren Reyes, our Francisco Bustamante, Marlon Manalo, they live in the pool room, which makes them very disciplined players. Definitely not this kind of two game twelve, Mr. Reyes leads six games to five. Again, the longer the match goes, the wetter the cloth. Gets. And the harder, and the harder it harder gets. It <laughs> Efren Reyes is two racks away from becoming the new king of the hill and uh, awarding himself the biggest purse in pool history. Well, here, okay, Efren, Efren made a ball on the shot, and this is, which is, I don't think is really going to be a trouble ball. The three ball. And what looks like the 12 ball are the only trouble balls on the table. Would yeah, it looks like a pretty open table mm -hmm. for someone of but Efren's caliber. He, he can knock those balls out well right now. Well, he's going to do that. He's going to shoot the 11 ball in the corner pocket and knock the... The 11 ball. Knock the 12 ball away. Perfect. Perfect. I hit that perfect. And it was about where you hit the 12 ball. Again, an amateur might break them up hard. And you didn't have to do that. All you had to do was touch the ball enough to get it out to, for him to be able to make it into the corner pocket. 12 in the corner. Balls are wide open from this spot three more uh, four more open balls up the stripe and then the, the eight for the win and that puts this will put uh, Efren on the hill with just one game away from winning it all and how would that change Efren's life Making sure he doesn't do that clink again. <laughs> I would imagine that uh, Efren Reyes will ev be every bit the uh, pool hall rat, to borrow the basketball term, the uh, gym rat phraseology that he, that he was before he uh, he entered this tournament. As we've already talked about, pool is is such a way of life for him and some of the other Filipino players that are here. Well, you know, after this tournament, win or lose, there's a good chance that Efren is going right to the pool hall. I mean, really, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely right. He's, he's probably right going right to the whole pool hall. Well, I didn't like that shot, what he just did. Well, he put himself <laughs> on the rail. <laughs> he's, he left himself on the rail. It, probably one of the only areas on the whole pool table that would make this now difficult. <coughs> and if you don't, it, it is absolutely the pressure. You just, this is very uncharacteristic, like, for his positioning. Clunk. Thanks. No Got it. <laughs> Earlier in the tournament, yeah. Efren played 
fellow Hall of Famer Buddy Hall, known as the Rifleman. Ten in the corner. And beat him 8-0. <laughs> Efren's yeah. laughing right now at his positioning. <laughs> 14 in the corner. Well, he's, in exactly an he's in an okay spot there, isn't he's he? He's fine. It's just not exactly where he wants. And, and I, I think you can just, you know, it's just the, the tension building up, and you oh can boy. just feel it. He's, he's this and much closer yeah. to $200,000 in his pocket. He's real close now. He's starting to smell it. He drops the eight ball here. He needs just one rack to become the new king of the hill. And red. And he has the break. Okay. He has the break. <laughs> Adding to the mystery of Efren Reyes, uh, none of us are privy to whatever it is he's saying to his corner people. Mike is probably just wondering if he's going to get a chance to even get to the table again. Yeah. I mean, Efren obviously can, if he makes the ball on the break, could run the table and just win it all. Well, there's been mm, a few times Since that Efren has 13, broken the balls that Mr. nothing Ray went in. The lead seven games so to five and set two. Mike has to hope for that. Mike Siegel has been to 117 final championship tables. He's won 105 of those. Yeah. Efren keeps the possession. He'll keep his cue in his hand as Here's he drops the ball on the break. Here's his break. And this is going to be just the only thing that he has to worry about here is the choice that he makes. So this is not a hugely troublesome no. layout. Not at all. Unless he falters here, Mike Siegel could be packing his bags and giving up his crown. Right. Unlo yeah, you're right, unless he misses and... and with this layout, I don't Five see ball. that happening. Biggest prize money in the history of the game. Mike Siegel losing at a championship table is uh, a rarity, as we've just addressed. Rarer still, in fact, it's never happened where Mike Siegel has lost in a two out of three set championship ball. format. Lost me the whole fucking match. Now, Efren Reyes has just taken his time on this. The, 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 I mean, this is it. This is it. He, he can take as much time as he needs to, to uh, make sure he's going to get in perfect line with every single shot. You know, this, this uh, King of the Hill comes up annually at the International Pool Tour. We have matches all over the world <coughs> for our tour players and open championships where people men and women of any age can try to qualify to play on our tour. I'd encourage everyone to go to www.internationalpooltour.com to get all the information on our schedule of tournaments, events, and qualifiers. I can tell you one thing. I have told, I've told my children for years that was a great shot that he just made because he had only half a pocket there. But I told my kids for years they always wanted to play pool. So I'm like, no, don't, don't. One in the corner. And now with the new IPT, I'm telling them, go ahead, go play pool. You can earn There's millions, exactly. <laughs> you, yeah. you can actually earn a lot of money, yeah. yeah. For the first time in history, the IPT is now offering pool players a chance to earn the type of money that the PGA uh, players make and other professional athletes. Efren Reyes is on the verge of climbing the hill and knocking off one of the most highly decorated players this sport has ever seen. Six. Three more balls plus the eight for the $200,000 oh first prize. He's cracked that Cheshire Cat-like <laughs> smile a couple of times, almost like he's, he's, he feels bad about oh. winning in the fashion he has. <laughs> He hasn't really done anything. <laughs> <laughs> he's, now, pretty, he's a pretty fearless player, too. The only thing he has to, you know, the only position on this table that he could end up in that he can't make the eight ball would be behind this ball right here. That's the only place he does not want to get. And he's perfect. 
This is it, folks. Look at him. <laughs> the fans responding to Efren Reyes. He's won this crowd over. Mike Siegel came Eight here, a favorite, certainly in his game, own mind. Set, match. And a crowd favorite as crowd. well. Yeah! A new king Efren of the hill. Efren Reyes. Wow. How excited is he right now? Well, he must be absolutely. Is Renee Siegel very disappointed, obviously. A historic match, historic proportions, largest prize money in the history of the sport. Over a million dollars was given away in this tournament with the 43 best pool players from all over the world. And Efren Reyes comes away the champion. Dramatic fashion, beating men, women, to get here against Mike Siegel. And Efren continues to have the title of never losing when the Ladies big money how about a is on the for line. Mr. Mike Siegel. For Mike Siegel, he really could never okay. recover after the slow start today, guys. I'll take this. Well, I wish it would have been closer. I mean, it was one of those things. Uh, this guy's a tough guy right here. I know that. But things happen. That's how this game is. This is the toughest game there ever is. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, I felt, I really, really felt like I was going to play absolutely like how I kind of got started there in the second set, and I got beat 8 to nothing. He played great. I do want a rematch now. That I definitely want. <laughs> But, no, he played great. I mean, it's a lot of pressure out here. You know, I don't know if people are saying maybe I didn't play in the tournament. That's the first time that's ever happened where, you know, all the other players were playing a lot. I mean, I got nothing to say. I mean, he, he played good and he won. I mean, that's, uh, I guess I can just go home and sulk while I put this 100000 in the bank. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to present to the new king of the hill, uh, Mr. Efren Reyes, his award for his fabulous match play. $200,000. You want to say a few words? Okay. Well, uh, this is uh, too much money for me now. <laughs> 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 you, you know, if I don't beat you like a four games in a row, I might lose for, the, for this match, you know. That I get lucky to you. If you play uh, like the same years before, uh, Maybe I, I don't have a chance. Anyway, thank you for everybody. And uh, thank you for the IPT tour and for all the stuff. And, of course, to Mike Seager. Thank you.